Hello to everyone. I'm glad to be able to share with you these few moments on our YouTube channel, Don Bosco Porchester. As many of you know, during this time, our Rector Major, Father, Father Fernandez, has asked all of us in the Salesian family to join in a worldwide novena in honor of Mary, Help of Christians, an extraordinary novena, imploring her help in this time of the pandemic of the coronavirus. And so we want to be a part of that and offer you this opportunity to pray with us each day this novena in honor of Mary, Help of Christians. Before I begin the novena, though, I want to share with you a simple little story in the life of Don Bosco. In May of 1854, Don Bosco was talking to his boys and he told them, he warned them, that a cholera epidemic would soon break out in Italy. Sure enough, in July of 1854, that cholera epidemic broke out. It's interesting to see the comparisons between that time and this time. And those comparisons are very real. The, the cholera came from Asia. It affected Italy, especially Northern Italy, more than any other area. They were experiencing as many as 40, 50, 60 deaths a day. It was truly an epidemic of great proportions, and people were fleeing the city. People who were sick were afraid because rumors were going around that the doctors, because they had no more medicine and couldn't do anything else, were actually giving the people poison to drink instead of medicine so that they would just die without suffering and peacefully. It was that kind of a situation that created a lot of panic. All the stores, all of the activities of the city of Turin were closed down and people were fleeing the city, some of them even leaving their family members at home alone to die or in the hope that someone would take care of them. Uh, the authorities at that time were urging people for volunteer, to volunteer to help, to care for those who were sick. Don Bosco, attentive to that urging, gathered his boys once again, and he asked them to be willing to help those who were sick, to help those who were dying. And he made a promise to them. He presented each of them with a little medal in honor of Mary, help of Christians. A little medal in honor of our Blessed Mother. And he told the boys very simply, wear this medal, begging our Blessed Mother for her protection. Say in our Father, a Hail Mary, a glory be each day in asking Mary to intercede for us and she will protect you. I promise you, she will protect you. At the end of the cholera epidemic, the boys went out into the city and were taking care of all of the sick, all of those that were dying at the end of the cholera epidemic. We can see it listed in the records of the city of Turin even today that no boy of the oratory caught the disease. They were all safe. Mary is protecting us. So I urge all of us have to turn to our Blessed Mother as our Rector Major is urging us to, to ask her for her help to place ourselves, our families, our country, our loved ones under her mantle with that sure and certain hope that when we turn to our Blessed Mother, she will protect us, she will help us, she will keep us safe. Again, I urge all of you to turn in each day to pray this novena, asking Mary for her help in this time of extraordinary pandemia throughout the world. And so we begin our novena. Lighting a candle to our Blessed Mother, asking her to intercede for us, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And together we pray the memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, sought thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in my necessities, hear and answer them. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Prayer for deliverance from the coronavirus. Almighty and eternal God, from whom the whole universe receives energy, existence, and life, we come to you to invoke your mercy, because today we are still living the fragility of the human condition in the experience of a new viral pandemic. We believe that it is you who guides the course of human history and that your love can change our destiny for the better, whatever our human condition may be. This is why we entrust the sick and their families to you. For the paschal mystery of your son gives salvation and relief to their body and to their spirit. Help each member of society to do their job by strengthening the spirit of mutual solidarity. Support doctors and health workers, educators and social workers in the performance of their duties. You who are comfort in fatigue and support in weakness through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the holy doctors and healers, Keep all evil away from us. Free us from this pandemic that is affecting us so that we can calmly resume our usual occupations and praise you and thank you with a heart renewed. We trust you and we address our plea to you through Christ our Lord, amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.